Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk Some More. Already uploaded two videos today, one about New Zealand and another about Scotland. They are not on YouTube. Go and check them out at hugotalks.com and subscribe to hugotalks.com to get notifications of all videos uploaded. So here we go again. It's panic stations, again, panic buying. Food supply is knackered, so they are saying on account of people being pinged by an app on their phone that they don't need to have an app they don't need to have on their phone. What a palaver. What a joke all of this has become. I don't know. What did I say about these apps? Delete them. But no. And what do we have now? Food supply shortages. Supermarkets closed due to lack of staff. And now I hear petrol stations are running low on fuel. And people are thinking to themselves, hold on, the shelves are going to be empty. Well, we best get out and get some food in quick, which just makes the situation worse. Now, if you have been following this channel, I've said numerous times over the last few months, every time you go shopping, every time you do your supermarket sweep, get some extra tinned food, rice, pasta, lentils, stuff that has a long expiry date and then keep it aside somewhere. Put it up in the attic or wherever you can find the place to put it. And then the next week, do it again and add to it. And if you have been doing this over the last few months, you should have a good supply of backup food because they've been talking about this for a while. But this is just, I think this is just silly compared to what might be coming down the pipeline. Anyhow, what I wanna talk about here is the media. They have been putting out articles across all platforms saying, don't panic, don't panic. The BBC, the tabloids, here we have the independent public urged not to panic by as pandemic blamed for supermarket shortages. Now, if you look, if you don't want people to panic, then the best tactic for the media is not to say anything about panic buying. OK. But no, they can't shut up about it. They know by putting out loads of food shortages and panic buying articles, that's just gonna increase the problem. Maybe that's what they want. I mean, this whole pandemic thing is ridiculous and the people going along with it. I mean, look, look at the mess you are helping to create by obeying the government. When are these people going to learn? As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the herd and don't follow the fake stream media.